Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, all those with Tihir Shafiri. In this video, you are going to see one more side effect from the Compose API called Side Effect. Let's get started. So here we do have, like in the previous video, we saw something like that. But let me remove that. I'm going to show you something. Okay, so here the disposable effect will run once when the, we enter the composition and then when we leave the composition to allow us to do something on the on dispose, of course, and it will re-execute whenever this key changes, okay? But there is sometimes, like I didn't encounter this scenario before, but from the documentation it says it, it is very useful. Sometimes you want to execute something whenever composition happens, whenever we compose, for example. And you can achieve that using something called side effect, okay? So the side effect doesn't accept any keys because it will keep changing whenever we have another composition and it will keep executing this one. Let's put it like that. Let's put it short, for example, to show you something. And here I'm going to just swap the state to see that whenever we do the recomposition, it will execute. Okay. Yeah. Let me run it again. So what you are going to see is the following. Here is the hello world. And if I'm going to do a recomposition, right? If I'm going to do a space, it will recompose. It means whenever you are doing that recomposition, it will execute that get. When do you need that? Like there is an actual good example from the documentation. It says that, well, I will show you in a minute, but here's the thing. If I click on it once, it will execute. So it is false. So it will recompose. So this one will execute again and it will execute again. And it will execute again and, and so on, so on, so on. So remember if you need that here. So there is one good usage uh, showing it here, exactly. So we are publishing compose state because exactly this is a compose state to non-composable code. So we need the, that kind of event. They usually using it here for remembering Firebase analytics. So whenever we have recomposition happening, we want to update the user property because sometimes this will be always changing based on recomposition. So this is, critical and we must like for this kind of thing we'll update the firebase analytics with the user whenever the recomposition happens so if you do have that use case not exactly use case but whenever you have a use case that we need to care about the composition state and based on that composition state you are going to uh, trigger some non-composed code try to use the side effect here's another to share composed state with object managed by com with object not managed by compose because this recomposition like the runtime will know the recomposition when the recomposition happened so it can update its object but if you want to update this analytics about recomposition stuff recomposition effect you can do that with the side effect if you go to see the implementation it's pretty simple we have current composer record side effect that's pretty it like this is composed like as you can see let, let me read the documentation once more so it scheduled the effect to run when current composition completes successfully and applies changes. So whenever this happens, it will occur. So here, don't have to understand this thing clearly, but as you can see, as a side effect runs after every composition. That's exactly what, what it is used for. But how they are doing that, that we do have something called the composer. The composer is something, right? It's something by the Kotlin compiler. This is the one generating the code like they, we are generating an extra code here. We are generating an extra code here to put these things into something called a composition tree. And when we do that, we want to do apply a function on it. So we want to do some operation, which is our effect after completing the composition. It means after doing an operation on that tree, we want to execute something else, okay? Which is our effect. And here we need something called, yeah, record a function to call changes to the corresponding tree are applied to the applied. So the apply is another API or another plugin that used alongside this composer in order to do this compose stuff. So that's, you don't have to understand that. You need, you need only to understand the side effect runs after every recomposition. The way it's done like is the following, of course. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If I click again, it will decompose. It means you are going to get our event one more time. Yeah, that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always see you in the next videos. Assalamualaikum.